This is an EEG of a patient following a craniotomy for a temporal lobectomy. The standout pattern here is the beta rhythm in the form of breach rhythm in the right temporal region, maximal at T4. This pattern is actually considered normal, and here's why. Beta rhythms are fast frequencies on the EEG, typically above 13 hertz. These rhythms are commonly observed within the 18 to 25 hertz range, with a voltage usually under 20 microvolts. When voltages exceed 25 microvolts, that's considered abnormal. According to a study published in the Neurophysiological Monitoring Journal, beta activity plays a vital role in various brain functions, including mental alertness and cognitive processing. Medications such as benzodiazepines, barbiturates, and chloral hydrate are known to significantly enhance generalized beta activity. This fast activity often exceeds 50 microvolts and dominates more than 50% of the waking EEG recording, particularly within the 14 to 16 hertz bandwidth. These changes are useful in clinical settings to monitor the effects of sedatives and other medications on brain activity. Beta rhythms also naturally increase during drowsiness, light sleep, and with mental activation. This phenomenon is well documented in sleep studies where beta activity serves as a marker for transitions between different sleep stages. Interestingly, persistently reduced beta activity, particularly when it accounts for more than 50% of a region's activity, could indicate cortical gray matter abnormalities. However, minor asymmetries in beta activity may simply be due to normal skull asymmetries as reported in the Clinical Neurophysiology Journal. One important feature related to beta rhythms is the breach rhythm, which occurs due to a skull defect. In cases where the skull is missing or thinner, such as after a craniotomy, beta activity can appear more prominent. This increased amplitude, often more than three times the typical beta activity, is a result of the lack of skull to attenuate the faster frequencies. This EEG shows a breach rhythm in the right temporal region, maximal at T4, following a craniotomy for a temporal lobectomy, and I want you to notice the higher amplitude beta activity in this area, illustrating how the breach rhythm can manifest on the EEG. Breach rhythms are considered normal under the physiological conditions of recording as long as they are independent of spikes or focal slowing. These rhythms highlight how structural changes in the brain, such as those following surgery, can significantly impact the EEG's appearance. Okay, here's a quick recap of what we just covered. Beta rhythms, frequencies above 13 hertz, typically observed between 18 to 25 hertz with a voltage of less than 20 microvolts. Enhanced beta activity, accentuated by benzodiazepines, barbiturates, and chloral hydrate, and often seen during drowsiness, light sleep, and mental activation. Abnormal beta activity, persistently reduced beta amplitudes may indicate cortical gray matter abnormalities while increased activity is common with certain medications or structural brain changes. Breach rhythm occurs due to a skull defect resulting in focal, asymmetric, higher amplitude beta activity, often more than three times the typical amplitude. Clinical significance, normal under specific conditions, but should be interpreted carefully to differentiate from pathological signs. And that's it folks, I'll see you next Tuesday for another Two Minute Tuesday video.